Okay, so today we're running Reinar and we're up against an Azalea. As you can see, this is, a, this is the deck that I've chosen. No erase face, no sigils because they pitch horribly and they can't defend when it comes to dominated attacks. Um, oh, I'm actually adding them in, to be honest. Um, no, that all you got, and of course, no erase faces. That's it for now. I think this is the deck getting the Tomo final out. Um, yeah, my gear crown, scabbies, gambler's gloves, and I'm rocking a romping club against Azalea. So, the plan, the plan of action. Okay, amazing, amazing first hand. Anyway, I'm second, so it's not a big deal. And he might be dominating. Puts into the arsenal face up against plus two. Reload. All these azalea thingies, I have no idea what they mean. Yeah, and dominate, and it's a big push. Okay, if it hits, they can play or activate more than one action during their next phase. Whatever. I'll just play one thingy then. Uh, it's not an issue for me. Put one on the bottom of your deck, sink below. Sure, sure, sure. Let's do it this way. See what we get back and what cards we have in hand. Okay. Uh, they discard all cards if it hits. Hmm. At the beginning of their next turn. They go, well, they discard all cards. Well, I got back no cards. Yeah, four new cards were drawn. And only one. They have only one action point. Okay, so I can't use the barraging beatdown. I need to do a wrecker romp, pitch the barraging. Yep, that's the only thing I can do. And get one intimidate off. Do seven damage, pushing seven damage, keeping a yellow smash instinct in the bank. Will be arsenaling that, although it's an expensive arsenal card. Can get it out potentially with a crown later on. Oh, he's taking the damage. He's gonna completely dominate me again next time. Interesting. Okay, Alpha Rampage, which is in my opinion only good at like the first or the second turn. Rain Razors, two plus again. So he's going to dominate. And attacks will be halved with a fatigue shot. Maybe I can get a command and conquer off to force some damage. Yeah, because I'm guessing he will arsenal. He will dominate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, what do I got? I got a command and conquer, yellow barraging, alpha rampage, and a yellow wrecker romp. And he's doing something else. Your next arrow attack gains plus three. And I go again. God damn. And another plus three. Ooh, 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 ooh. When fatigue shot hits hero, the base damage of the first attack action card they play during their next turn is halved. And if it hits, they discard all cards. My God. So what should I do? What should I do? Because all my cards are going to get discarded anyway. Right. And I'm not getting back anything. I think best to do is just to block it out. Is there another thingy when it hits? No, just discarding. Yeah, so then the only logical thing to do is just block it all out. Because a hit doesn't matter anyway. I'm going to lose the cards anyway. Right, I'm not getting them back. Oh, destroy in their hands and arsenal. 
Holy moly, this is that is one aggressive guard. Should remember that one. Seek and destroy. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, can't do anything. Add a great hand with no attacks. Amazing. Enlightened strike. Okay, what do I have? Barraging, reckless swing, need to pitch that. Don't want to swing it at all. Clearing bellow and so it's three blues and a yellow and no attack. So at the most, one barraging in a club to force him to defend. Okay, enlightened strike with a mode go again. Hmm. Yeah. But he might have an on hit card again for the next one, which I. He doesn't have a pitch. He has three. Oh, I think I'm. Okay, this is interesting. Do I want to take the five to block out the on hit potentially? Because this guy has a lot of on hits. Oh, it's a mistake. Undo that. Sorry. Did not want to block my man. Just take the damage, take the five, go down to 30. Not using the reckless. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he's going to do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Difference only three. Many cards in hand. Yeah, see, he's using the spring tunic. Okay. I read his mind correctly. So it's saving me. What the hell? Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, exactly, 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 exactly. So this is as expected. You want to block this one out. If it hits, we don't want to. Oh, it has a go again. And if it hits, it has a reload. So then it can basically go again because it's a zero attack. So it gets like an unlimited amount of... Uh, it's your next attack. No, no, no. You can use it one more time. Uh, so I'm just going to block it out. Yep. He has to go again, but I suspect that he wanted to, um, to reload it. And he can't load his bow. Okay, wow. Two enlightened strikes and draw a card. Hmm. Okay. Well, I prevented most of the damage because of the bolt and shoulder reload. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. I'm going to force some uh, defending now because he probably doesn't want to have the plus three on the, of the barraging, which I suspect pitching the the reckless swing, obviously, because we want to keep that for the end. As you can see, Brute is all about making your opponent do specific things. I have one Intimidate up. Okay, interesting, he's taking the hit. So he goes down to 26. Difference is only one now. Let it be, he has a card in Arsenal. So he's going to pop his head if it's a shitty card. Hmm. Finally. Yep. Popping his head. Take aim. Amazing. It's not. Range attack. It's a plus three and he gets a reload. Oof. 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 Because I want to run a blood rush here. Yeah. Plus three and a reload. I want to get a blood rush off, but 
I need to be, I have the three find our spring tunics. He's reloading an arrow, pitching one. Okay. But I could be, how do you say that? For more is put into an actual phase up until the end of the turn, defense reactions can't be played from Arsenal. If Remorse hits here, then the honor, they lose and they play an action card. Okay, I'm going to, if I do a blood rush, I play multiple action cards. But he is going to dominate. Yep, plus six, holy moly. This is strong because my next turn is going to cost me life. So I can only play a club. And he's going to dominate the shit out of me currently. Oh, what the hell? No. Mm. If Remorseless hits until the accident, uh, this doesn't matter to me because I'm just going to Arsenal. Uh, I'm, or do I want to run it? No, because the Blood Rush is going to cost me two life. It's more efficient to just wait. Arsenal it. Uh, is that better? Blocking a lot of his plus attacks, which is good because I'm filtering those out. And he has less and less of those back in his deck. I don't want to play a lot of attack cards on my next turn when Remorses is up. Not over blocking because that's not needed. I'm just going to Arsenal the Blood Rush, and that is good enough for now. He does have card in arsenal yep end of turn okay the difference is not that big yeah 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 just arsenaling the blood rush hopefully i get a very efficient next turn i want to get maximum damage out of the blood rush what do i got yellow rocker rump blue high roller so this is an intimidate trigger Fate foreseen if he dominates, it's an extra health for me. And reckless swing, which will have to be pitched for the blood rush bellow. Because we don't want to discard that. Or yeah, because we don't want to defend with it. Oh, this is annoying. This locks up this locks up the reckless swing to be pitched for the blood rush bellow. So we can only defend with seven. Okay, sure, sure, sure. His last take aim. This is his third lot take aim. And he's obviously going to use it. Yep. Is he going to dominate? This is pretty interesting also because if I use Fate for Scene, I can see my next two, I can see my next card. Um which will allow me to see if my it will give me an additional insight on how I should run Blood Rush Battle which is very good about fate foreseen so the line that i have during the starts at the defense action oh my god again this one put an arsenal face up until the end defense reactions can't be played yeah okay very good uh if i put into the arsenal face up until the end of the turn it gates defense reactions can't be played from arsenal to remorseful Okay, interesting. Another plus three, so it's a six already. If it's here at the beginning, they discard all cards. Whew. I am very happy. But he could be put a card from your arsenal on the bottom of your deck. If it's an arrow game dominate, yeah, he's probably going to do that. I would do that. Or is he just going to play it? Because he knows that it will cost me life. Yeah, yeah, okay, he's playing it without a dominate. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, maybe run a crown, get reckless swing out as well. Hope that I get a six. So this is seven. Yeah, that is best, right? So run a crown, 
then get the reckless out, use the fate for scene, and see my next roll. Yep. Oh, yeah. Come on. Six in. Whoo. 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 Great, great, great. So is it going to be efficient? Yep, it's a blue. That is good. Oh, yeah, top. Oh, no, it's not a six. No, but it's a blue. It doesn't matter. I have the six here. So totally overblocked, and I can push some damage this turn. Great, 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 great. Very good play. Pop the tunic. Yep, he has his tunic up almost. Play the blood rush. And are we going to pitch scabbies? <clears throat> this is a three cost. Shall I use the sigil? In the arsenal, I'm going to, yeah. Not going to use the sigil now. The play that I'm going to do, I'm just going to romp, which is not amazing. It's gonna hit for six. And I'm not going to use the sigil instantly. Why? Because I wanna, uh, having a card in arsenal uh, is just, how do you say that? It, it, it's more threatening. Okay, blocking everything out. It's not an issue. So the sigil, if, if that's like the last one you have, don't pop it instantly, right? You want to also get in the head of your opponent by arsenaling a card, which is always good. Because you can always use it on your own turn, right? You don't have to use it now. Um, yep, just leave it for what it is. Arsenaling it. Ooh, interesting. But an alpha rampage, so an alpha rampage, red barraging to yellow beast within could be interesting for an efficient round with an alpha rampage, but you need a three pitch. So I need four cards in hand if I want to get off the alpha rampage with additional. Nope. So what the hell does this do? Memorial Ground, put target attack action card would cost one or less. Okay, he's dominating. Yep, now I'm getting back some health, mate. Getting back some health. So, yeah, and of course he's pumping into the plus three. It is a plus five, so it's an eight. What are we doing? Is if it hit, they can't play, activate more one action during their next turn. Okay. So now the question is, do I want to defend with a single three, take five? Or do I want to push an alpha rampage for nine? Which I can't, I can't barrage him because it's... I don't have the pitch or do I, but the horrible thing is that if I have beast within, right, he is, I can only do one action. So I can only do the alpha rampage. When I discard the beast within, I get a card back. This is gonna cost me life on average, like two life. So I'm basically, if I'm defending with three, I'm taking seven to hit nine with two intimidates. Yeah. No, wait. I'm taking eight. So I'm I'm plus two from the beast within. Right? Because this is gonna take my life down. So it's ten trading ten for nine. That is not that is not good. That is not good. So I have to just swing a club with a barraging. Yep, obviously that's the play. 
because the barraging is going to force him to um, to want to block. So that is not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's going to force him to want to block. Maybe I can arsenal the alpha rampage. I don't really like it as an arsenal. And the fucked up thing is that I don't have the crown. I don't have the crown there yet. Oh, I don't have the crown anymore. Yeah, so just forcing a defense. Oh, god damn it. My bad. I only have one turn. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, they can't play activate more than one action point. Okay, sure, no problem. Taking the damage. So we have some good cards. What do our soul? No, Alpha Rampage this is not great. It's not an efficient card. Like you saw with the calculation on the previous round. You don't want to, if if, I, if you don't have crown, you don't want to arsenal it. So I'm arsenaling. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing hand. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what is he doing? What is this? Action destroy bullseye. If you have no cards in the arsenal, you put an arrow card from your hand, face up an arsenal against plus one. And we go again, whatever. Don't pop the sigils automatically. You want to psychologically show a strong hand, right? You don't want to give him more information if you don't have to. Bolton shot. So it has a, it's a five now. God damn it. It's a five, right? Because it has a plus one. Yep. It has a plus one. So what to do now, right? So, okay. So bolt and shoulder greater than its base. Yes, it is because it has five. Then it has go again. If it is reloads. So what do I want to do? Maybe I want to save the sigils. Because this is six, right? So he's gonna, I'm gonna get six back for five damage. But when I let it go off, the horrible thing is he will be able to reload and go again. So he will push for another four. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting one life, but then he will push another four. Uh, and he can, you may put an arrow card from your hand face up in Arsenal. And yeah, that's what he wants to do, right? That's what he wants to do. Okay, let's just wait. Let's just wait. Yeah, yeah, this rebel, so you have no cards in hand, they put an error, it gains plus one, so next time it has, yeah, next time it has four, next time it has four, if it hits, oh wait, wait, it doesn't have reload next time, so what do I want to do? Because the next the next one can be a big one, right? He still has three cards in hand and he has to go again. So he's gonna do a big push. I'm just gonna overcommit and pop pop the sigils on the next turn and wait. Yeah. So now he's coming over the top, loading an arrow from hand, pitching. Uh, let's see what happens. As you can see, I still didn't pop the sigils there because I want to show him, okay, I'm still defending with two cards, so you watch out, little bastard. If Hamstring shot their first attack during the next era, it costs an additional sure, man. Sure. And the plus two, so it's a seven. And then... Okay, well... 
is damaged or not. Fuck you. So shoot me. And then I go to 20. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind because I'm not attacking this turn. I don't mind at all. And she's still 20, so you thought you had a strong round, but no, 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 no. I thought about my defense, and now finally I got some cards in hand. Do I want to get a card back? I have a Mirage in beat down. I still have two in my deck, so I don't think I'm going to play Cadaverous. Swing big, go against are good for Azalea. And the Command and Conquer is horrible for them. But I know what they have. They have a sink below. Amazing. Amazing. It has a go again. Reveal the top card. Yep. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Two barraging. <sighs> now I'm going to do a barraging in a club. But then he will do a sink. He will definitely use the sink. Yeah. Maybe two barraging and a swing big. So take all the damage here. But then he will. Yeah, I will I will push some damage. I will push some damage on one barraging and a swing big. I will take this for that to see what happens so I can do a better analysis because he has a go again. And that thing below is some additional information in his uh oh interesting and now obviously uh what is he doing is he doing a go again or a power buff no go again okay 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 if i want to get the swing big off now i'm just going to romping club with the barrage enforcing defense Yeah, 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 yeah. And Arsenal, Command and Conquer. I don't want a Cadaverous because I still have two uh, Blood Rush in my deck. So just defending for three. What is he doing? Reload? Yep, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Yep, play this one, whatever. Swing big. I don't want to play that against this guy. First attack during will cost an additional. Ooh. Their first attack. Mm -hmm. I want to command and conquer. I have I have the find out spring tunic. So I can pay for it. Yeah, that's all that will be game changing. So what I'm thinking here. I don't mind, I can pop the final spring tunic, keep the command and conquer next turn in the arsenal, which will be strong. Force a block because I'm pushing the barrage in beat down for four, which will come in for eight. And I can pay for that. So sure, taking this. I'm doing horrible by the way. I'm completely dying, but it is what it is. So getting a resource, playing a barraging. This turn can turn it around. Only two pitch, yep. I think this was a good turn. Tunic is coming up next round, so I think he might take it because he's up 22. Yeah. I think he will take it. He has four cards in hand, no arsenal, so I don't know if he will take it. He hasn't really felt that defensive. So let's see what he does. I'm happy that I can keep the command and conquer him. 
that is very good that is very good against this zamon yep, taking it okay interesting arsenal in the command and conquer so cards that i got blue barraging red pack hunt red swing big yellow smash instinct uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay this is fun this is fun this is fun he's waiting a long time so he's setting up a big one and he also has the spring tunic but nothing in arsenal hmm this feels like a big defense play again yeah reload what was this oh it's too, too small i can't read it ah, okay, okay, okay. What is this? A reload and a go again. Search your deck. Remorseless is revealed. Hmm. No idea what that does. Okay, so he only has two cards. But this is a go again. He probably wants me to block it. What is what, what is remorseless is revealed. Put in the arsenal face up until the end of defense reactions can't be played. He still has the head. Remorseless hits a hero. Mm. What do I want to play? I want to play a command and conquer next turn. But I also want to force big damage. So I would love to play a command and conquer and a swing B. Because the first command and conquer. So I need four, four resources. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm not going to defend this, I'm going to take this. Because I might have to defend like a, a stupid, a stupid uh, reload card, what the, uh, a stupid reload card on the next turn. Right, so I need to, I need to, yeah, okay. God damn it. It's going to push big damage. Oh, wait, it's only five for the dominate. Interesting. Okay, so I need a big roll after this. Or oh, what is better? Barraging, pack hunt into a swing big, I can't. So it's, it's an eight. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I can only, I can only do this and then hope that I get a four or better, which is a 50% chance. And I lose health when I play an action card. So let's see what happens. So I go down to five. And now I need the roll. If I don't get the roll, I'm done. If I don't get the roll, I'm basically done. Of course. And a two. Hmm. Yeah, so what now? He's not he's not playing defense reactions. I know that. So what can I do? Do I want to do a barraging and do a swing big, which is an eight? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Keep the command and conquer in in there. Or do I want to go put the swing big in there? Because the command and conquer will force him to block. I suspect it will force him to block, keep the swing big in for a bigger turn next time. So this is the question, right? Do I want to, because he, the swing big, he might defend properly. 
completely but probably not i think he will take the damage right so what is more effective because i think he arsenal yeah, so the command and conquer even though that this is going to hit for 10 the command and conquer is more effective here because he probably wants to save the arsenal um yeah yeah i think that is more effective and then i can save the swing big for next turn because i also do not the, the possibility of him blocking it out uh, might also be a danger then he gets a go again and i'm certainly dead so i go with the three okay 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 let's see what he does he's committing committing gear and the card right or not yeah what is he committing what else is he pushing what else is he putting in front of there you need to do something or he loses to health yep okay great the ravenous is gone the plus five with the go again that would have been a killing blow he had that in there so he would not have been able to block he had a two in there so he would not have been able to block the swing big no he would have because he would have committed uh, equipment so he would have been able to switch to, to i think this is the right play i think this is the right play can arsenal the swing big holy moly what the hell I have no idea what's going to happen now. I have the two blood rushes, which is great because that can definitely mean a killing blow with a swing big. But now he has the enlightened strike for five. So do I want to go down to one? That's the big question. And if it hits, the first attack uh, next turn costs an additional. So I need to defend this for sure. And I go down to two and then five. No, I don't have the pitch. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I go down to one. If I do this, if I go down to one. He's going to play the arrow because he has the he has the yeah he has the god damn it yeah I go down to one what should I and I yeah I can still keep in the then should I swing then? Uh, wait, undo block. Do uh, that to one. Oh no, wait. He's probably going to dominate now. Oh no. Yeah, I would do that. So I'm dead. Right. Completely dead. Probably wanted me to overcommit. Oh, this feels so bad. This feels so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What can I do? What about this? Oh, then I'm still done next turn. Not if I do the swing big. 
No, 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 no. This is not a problem. I, I do the swing big next turn. He's probably taking that. Yeah, he will take that. I would take it. So I would take it. And then he tries to push me. He tries to push me. He will push me, but that is the only option I have. That is the only option I have. Yeah. I could have I could have defended more extensive. I should have defended more. I should have defended more. But I was greedy with the blood rush. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a blood rush. I should have because I would have sacrificed the blood rush anyway. I should have overblocked the um, I should have overblocked the enlightened strike. Then I still would have had three health. Same situation would have applied. So that is a mistake. That is a mistake. That is a definite mistake. Yep. That is a definite mistake. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, what is better here? The Command and Conquer has nothing in Arsenal, so he's not going to defend. So the only option is swinging the swing big. Which I'm hoping, yeah, of course, he's not going to defend. Fuck that. I wouldn't do either. Okay, this is not too bad. Because I have a lot of defense. And the sink below. Yep, 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 yep. Of course. What is he going to put in? What is he going to put in? A three. Oh, that's good. What is this? Put target attack X card with one. Yeah, okay. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, he got me. It got me, got me, got me. He got me. I'm dead. Good game. GG, GG, GG. Something on the bottom of my deck doesn't give a damn. Doesn't really matter unless it's a sigil. Right, that would have been amazing. Yep, done. Killed by an Azalea. Well deserved.